Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press the notification bell or the bell icon that will enable you to be updated or whenever I upload or I get to upload a new video. In today's video, I got a question from one subscriber and it was concerning about the panel. And actually, the question was, I'm, I'm coming as a security guard very new. Please, can you help me? How I heard of the fire alarm panel. How do you go with the fire alarm panel? I, I got so concerned about the question. Yes, we need to help one another. We need to help one another to grow, to understand, especially for the new people coming, what we call security, uh, security uh, jobs uh, in the Gulf countries. It may not be here, it may be Bahrain, it may be Saudi Arabia, it may be um, uh, Dubai, or it may be also in Qatar. But remember, as a security guard, some of the skills you get to learn or, uh, will be how better you can take up, uh, care of a fire alarm. Uh, did you know a fire alarm? Yes. That is a question and that is what you'll, you'll expect to know. You remember, I told you, some companies do not give what we call uh, uh, on-job on training and they require you uh, being recruited from your country to know some of this kind of tactical, to know some of these more basics that uh, you can learn. But remember, all things we may not learn them by training, but also we may learn them by seeing. Or even a colleague I work with, he may be a little bit better than me, so I get to learn. In today's video, I want us to try to see. I know most of you, you might be deployed or in a location where you are only one security guard. You need to take care of the fire alarm panel. But things get off worse one day or sometime. You don't know what to do. And your employer expects you to know. So what do you do? What do you have to do? So in today's video, I want us to learn some of the small simple basics of a fire alarm panel. Trust me, by the end of this video, you must be, you will be able to grasp something and know something that is going to help you. In case you go to another area to work. Or in case you go to an interview and they ask you about the panel, about the fire alarm panel, you'll be able to know. By the way, don't uh, tune into this video until the end as we try to see, we try to learn a little bit of what you call the fire alarm panel. Remember, in the Gulf countries, most of these buildings you get to work to, most of those buildings you get to work to, they have fire alarms panels. Uh, they're so much sensitive with fire. And this as a security guard, by the virtue of the, 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 the fact that you are from your country, you need security, they expect you also to know this. So, by the way, share this video to people, to friends, to your friends, put a comment in the, sub uh, in the comment section, I'll be able to get back to you as we get to learn to some of these basics that we need to know. Don't, don't, don't forget, by the way, to subscribe to this channel, right? Let's go straight into the video and see what is a fire alarm panel. How does it work? What can you do in case there is fire? Then, what are your roles as a security guard when the fire panel, when the fire alarm is activated? By the way, this will depend on the instructions from either your supervisors or your building management you're working, or even your, your employer himself, depending on the contract he has. Right, let's go straight into the video. Hi guys. Uh, right now, uh, we in front, we have what we call a fire alarm panel. I know most of you, you've seen these fire alarm panels in buildings where you work. Or in, uh, it can be in hotels, in most of the buildings you've seen the fire alarm panel. Because I told you, this, uh, in the Gulf countries, they're so much sensitive with fire like anything else. So you've seen such kind of things. It's called a fire alarm panel. And this is exactly how the panel looks like. And this is what the panel has. Uh, remember, uh, it may not be the same type of panel in your building, but the different types of panel. First of all, what you need to understand or what you need to know, what is the fire alarm control system? Remember, a fire alarm control system is, is a system that is warning people when smoke, fire, carbon dioxide, or other fire-related emergencies are detected and this may be activated automatically because the fire, when you look at the fire alarm itself, the fire alarm panel is connected to a, a, a number of systems, a number of activations, uh, activations uh, devices that will alert 
the building or will alert the person that there is something that is wrong in either particular room, in either particular corridor or even in a particular uh, place that is adjacent or that is in the building because it has uh, what we call detection uh, devices that are being, are being attached to it. Remember, when we, are, when we are talking about a fire alarm control panel, it's just a conventional alarm control panel which employs more than one or more circuits connected. And these circuits that are connected together, they ignite, they, they ignite what we call the, uh, the, uh, the devices, are usually uh, smoke detectors. Uh, most of you have seen smoke detectors that when something is wrong, then definitely this will definitely st uh, trigger it off and it will make an alarm that everyone will get to know that something is not right at one moment of time. And someone may ask me a question, or someone may ask a question a little bit, that uh, what, what is a fire alarm control system? What are the components? Remember, when we are talking about a comp a components, components of fire alarm, alarm systems, we are looking at initiation devices. And such initiation devices that we may talk about, we may talk about what we call the pool stations. Most of you have seen the pool stations, the buildings. We talk about the smoke detectors. We talk about the heat detectors. By the way, there is a difference between a smoke detector and a heat detector. When we are talking about a smoke detector, it just detects the fume of the smoke and it will automatically activate when the particles of the molecules of the smoke move into that uh, device then it will activate to show to to alert the to alert the building that something that is not right and when you look at the heat detectors this only will detect the rise uh, the rise and the rate of uh, temperature remember they are, they are fixed at a given temperature so when the heat the temperature of that heat uh, goes beyond then probably that one will be activated and mostly of those heat detectors i think we've, we've seen them being uh, put in what we call the kitchens uh, where there is always cooking fire or cooking smoke that comes out of the time at a bit of it all but remember uh, when we talk, we talk about the components we're looking at the smoke detectors we look at the heat detectors we look at the manual call points uh, what we call the manual call, call points we have uh, the this one announcement page we have uh, uh, the module phone here uh, pager uh, most of you have not seen that but you know uh, we talk about notification appliances the notification appliances uh, we, we have very many notification appliances we shall go through them and you'll we'll also look at what we call the notification appliances we also have what we call the fire sprinkler system the fire sprinkler systems those are built and they will, they will give out the pop up in case of any uh, fire that is being detected they will, they will, at a given temperature they will raise up and they will begin releasing water that is filled up with uh, uh, the to try to, to turn to turn off the, the, the building we have what we call switches flow control switches we have isolated standard switches and more than module at a time. So that is a little bit we can know. But remember, still something that you need to know for your own information. These alarms, the fire alarm panels are in different forms. We have the different types. We have the coded, we have the coded panels, we have the conventional panels, we have the addressable panels, then we have what we call the matplex as fire system. That is for your basic information. But in today's video, we want to see what is a fire panel what is a fire alarm panel and what does it do what do you do what can you see if there is a, a, a kind of detection of fire what is going to happen at a given time so this is what we call the fire alarm panel this is what we call the fire alarm panel remember it has different um, um, uh, buttons we have the power we have the test button we have the cpu fail depending on which panel you have in that building the, uh, then we have what we call the disable, then we have what we call the reset, the alarm silence, the panel silence, then what we call the drill. That screen that you see is like a mobile, it's called a display screen. And down you'll have what you call a, an alarm button, you'll have a supervisory button, you'll have a trouble, then you'll have to do what we call a monitor panel. Uh, this is a trouble, you see where it's a little bit breaking, it will show you uh, uh, if there's any bit of trouble then it will give up the light it will turn to light then you also have still it's like mobile phone you'll have where you have the previous where you can try to go back and see where the fire alarm was in uh, which particular area location and um, in case you missed out 
and then we have, we have the details, the text messages, then we also have the command, uh, what we call the command menus. Then these are levels, we have the levels, uh, the uh, per, per clip of the levels, we have the P1, depending uh, which, which area, when the alarm sounds, it will definitely tell you exactly where that alarm is in the actual location. Then we go down here, we have the announcement or the pager, we we'll call it the announcement or the pager uh, column where we have this announcer. In case there is real fire, what you need to do, you need to pay, you need to date the old building because you are not going to move to each and every floor to announce, but you will get a pager, you will press in the pager and you make a call and that pager call will be an announcement that will may be made by uh, the message will flow from one building to from one level to another level that will enable people to evacuate in one moment of time still under uh, the pager or what you call the caller system and this is what you call a modia uh, caller uh, in case there's fire and you need to go up the floor you can still receive from here and communicate with the person who is up uh, i'll show you those other points when we go up to the floor where you will communicate and you can communicate with the fire 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 detections or what you call the fire the civil defense in any way or if you have to have a communication Apart from the pager to alert the residents, you can also have this module caller that you can use to, to have a communication with someone with a, either maybe on a 7th floor or 10th floor, depending on what. And it also has what we call a display. Remember, these are kind of, um, these are kind of systems that will run with a system that in case of anything, uh, when they need to rectify, this is, they will get the information. And this down here, we have what we call the sound cards. These are called the sound cards. Uh, these are called the sound cards of the panels. And if we go here, you see, uh, they still we have to see what we call the sound card. These are sound card boxes, and these are all FACP mega three, and these are all sound boxes. These are what called battery panels. Uh, the battery panels for the sound cards. Uh, you all know here, and this is what we call the alarm power supply. This is called the alarm power supply and this is exactly that i want to show you and some of the way we are looking at what you need to do when there is a fire alarm remember the standard operation procedure in responding an alarm one in case there is a fire alarm detection in the panel when there is a fire alarm detection in the panel this one is going to show right over here or right over here it's going to turn red Meaning if it turns red here, the fire alarm is on. There's a fire alarm in the building, depending on which level. And here, right here, this is the display. It will tell you there's a fire alarm in uh, floor two or in room number two or even in the bedroom. It will actually give you the, the, the location of the area. Why? Because each room you may find it gives you that address as according to what we call that detector that is in that area, that, that it may be a smoke detector or it may be a heat detector at that time. So when there's an alarm, it will come and it will appear red here showing there's an alarm. What do you need to do? First of all, what you need to do is you will have to silence. You will have to silence the alarm. You will have to silence here the alarm. You press the silence button, then the alarm will silence, meaning that the horns what we call the home, the, the sound horns in each floor or in any area that is being activated will stop alarming or will stop making that sound at that time. So after you alarm silence, after you alarm silence, you'll then come back and do what we call the panel silence. When you do the panel silence, after you do the panel silence, you'll have to move you'll have to you'll have to, to you'll have to, to to press the alarm you'll press what you call the alarm then you'll actually find out exactly uh, area or the person one person will have to go up to the location which is being displayed here when that location is being displayed you go and find out exactly in that location what is the problem or what has caused the alarm to be activated in that area so what will happen is that after that and detecting the exact location and you finding out exactly uh, what is the immediate check what is the immediate problem or is it real fire detection or not 
if it is not real fire detection if it is a false alarm if in case it is a real fire you need to activate the nearest manual call point or what we call the call immediate panel call operator or instruction or press what we call the drill button so that is where i told you that normally the communication comes between here that in case it is real fire uh, you'll communicate with the person that is on floor using this call uh, module and when you call this call module you'll get that information you'll have that information when it's real fire or when it's real fire then you have to activate what we call the drill button this is what we call the drill button when you activate this drill button what it means is that the whole building the whole horns will begin sounding on the floor meaning that you will be alerting people to evacuate of the building to evacuate to the nearest exit to the nearest exit other than using the elevators because they will also all be stuck down to the ground that no one can use them so they will have to use the nearest emergency exits or nearest evacuation we call them the evacuations exits at one time of that time but if it is false alarm if it is false alarm then what you can do uh, uh, the person in charge in, in that the person in charge of that place uh, he can do what he can do he can silence he can uh, reset the alarm back to normal and he can reset back the elevators because by that time when there's an alarm remember that all the elevators will be uh, put down to will come down on the ground floor that means they will be out of use at that time and the only elevators you can be accessing those are what we call the manual uh, service lift uh, elevator and the ambulance elevator those are uh, service elevators that you can use at that time so that's what you need, need to do and um, in case it is real fire then and there is need to evacuate then you'll use what we call the pager we'll use what we call the pager when you press in here you'll press ready to the pager and when you press the pager when you press the pager it will tell you all call calls minus phone page evacuation alert so if you are to alert people that is a false alarm then you'll press all call when you press all call here then the whole call will go to all floors and it will alert all people that it is a false alarm they should not panic and stay in one position but remember if it is there is need to evacuate then you'll press what you call the evacuation button and after you've pressing the evacuation button then probably it will also alert people and it will let them know that um, uh, that they need to evacuate and they use what you call the next or the nearest evacuation points as uh, you've been taught about the evacuation procedures of what to do or what you need to do during the evacuation process so i think that is what you need to do so the most important point is for you to know how to panel silence in case of anything you will not do not reset the alarm unless you find out the exact location or what is the problem in that area of the alarm and uh, that's when you first find out the location you go to the location then you definitely need to, to fight out and find out and do that so but remember that in the event of activation of the fire alarm in the building uh, when there is a uh, real fire what you need to do with the announcer the pager you need to announce three times mostly what you do you need to announce three times you can say ladies and gentlemen your attention please the fire alarm has been activated in the building we are investigating the situation please remain calm thank you that is a very good message it can flow to all flow and people will stay calm wherever they are you know some may be disabled some may be small children have children so you need to make that alarm uh, very fast so that people don't live out of panic at one moment of time but remember that is one one cause of the event but remember also there is another situation where in the event where people need to evacuate from the building you also need to announce three times you can say ladies and gentlemen your attention please there is exist an emergency situation in the building please evacuate by the nearest exit staircase obey all instructions given by the fire warren remember to avoid use of lifts that is when you are alerting people you are alerting people to evacuate using what you call the pager you remember what you use what you call the pager and this is all 
the information will be recorded here in what we call the pager this is a second display of the fire alarm so i think those are basics uh, that you need to know uh, for a security guard depending on how the instructions you're being given i think the the, uh, the most important thing is to know where the fire alarm is and you reporting to your supervisor where the fire alarm is and the rest of the things i think will be done by by the people or technicians that are really um and trained to do that but in case of in, there is an emergency you can still take up at one moment of time and you can can do uh, you can still try to have that basic knowledge at one moment of time remember we talked about uh, the fire alarm uh, fire alarm silencing the panel silencing checking the area you verify the area the information of the fire alarm and the location will be displayed right in display this display point this is called the display point so it will display in case it is on the floor it will still show you that it is on the second floor it's on all this and you'll probably be aware of that so what you need to know is you need to be very careful attentive to know what is the exact location and what you need to do and where you need to press so that you don't make a mistake in one way or the other still something i need to show you is what we call a lift supervisory panel this one this is a switcher lift it will definitely show you at one moment of time that when there is a fire alarm all the elevators will come back to the ground floor all the elevators will come back to the ground remember all the fire alarms or all the elevators will come to back to the ground floor meaning that there is fire and it will definitely uh, give you a show wish for now for example right now here you see the elevators are normal there is nothing problem if there is an, an emergency all the emergency lights will light on depending on which elevator at that time that has an emergency and if there is fire it will show still show you or it will still the lights will light and show you which which are it will show you that they're on ground floor and there's a fire alarm or there's fire in the building they will never be working again when it is a fault it will definitely show you a particular lift that has a fault which cannot be used and if it is maintenance it still it is going to show you if it is a maintenance still it's going to show you which lift is under maintenance uh, right now we have a lift that is under maintenance that is l5 which is showing and if it is home someone attending or auto it will definitely all show you now right now when you see here it is showing you what you call the auto auto their own on auto meaning that uh, you can still move and get on still down here in all the lifts we have what you call the lift calls and this is definitely where you can they normally operate this and trigger off and get these calls at one moment at time it's still the same that is uh, receiving the calls it will definitely an addition that will show you which uh, exact which exact uh, uh, location or where uh, which lift or in case someone is stuck in the elevator you can still know someone inside may press that um, call button you can receive from here then you know someone is stuck in that lift in this period of time and needs emergency rescue at that time thank you so much for tuning this channel we shall be discovering more of these small basic things that basic knowledge that you need to have or you need to know in using some of these gadgets because remember some of these times some of these trainings we are not given it at one moment of time we are not given we are only deposited to locations to go and work but you need to have this basic knowledge because your employer assumes that you have a little bit of experience and you know some things if you're so lucky enough in some company you may be given a training but in some companies you may not given that training thanks so much for tuning in this channel don't forget it's makes makes creation subscribe support this channel by subscribe see you again in the next video as we try to explore more of this this important equipment to keep us updated